Welcome back to the Rope Access channel. In this video, I will show you a different way of connecting two ropes together. Let's get into it. Sometimes it happens that you need to join two ropes together. For instance, your rigging changes and suddenly your ropes do not reach the ground, like I have here. Or maybe the preparation for the job was not that accurate and there were no long ropes in the bags, just the shorter ropes. So you might need to join them together. In a previous video, which you can watch uh, up there, uh, I've shown you the method of tying ropes together that's taught most often, and it's the double, um, the double fisherman's knot. So you tie two barrel knots through each other. It's a good way to tie knots together, but the knot gets really tight, so it's very hard to undo. There are a couple of better knots for it, and we'll get into the first one right now, and in a later video I will show you my preferred method of tying ropes together. First thing we need is a not a rope to tie in here, so I have one lying around on the ground here. It's a, a new Courant rope, the Rebel 11 mil. I've been testing it out, liking it so far. Not very knotable though. Yes, I think it's a word knotable, but very good in all the devices so far. First thing I do, I'm going to change this stopper knot into a Figure of eight knot. Single figure of eight. Then I will take the end of my rope and I will basically tie a rethreaded figure of eight the same way we do in our harness. And I will link the video up there uh, where you can watch it. So I keep following this part of the rope back all the way through. So you have to take care that the tail end of your rope is long enough, so about 10 times the thickness of the rope should be enough. A big fist. It's a bit longer here because I want to uh, have the knot in the center of the frame, otherwise it would be down here. I take my new rope, go in from the bottom, follow it through, go around the corner, and just keep following it through. And it's actually Yes, it's that simple. And as you can see, I tighten all four ends, dress the knot, and that's basically it. That's all we need. We have a re-threaded figure of eight. I can come down the rope, pass the knot, and after I'm done, it's very easy to undo. As you can see in the other video up there where I show you how I untie the figure of eight knot that have been loaded at like 400 kgs. And it's fairly easy to undo. So one more time. Let me see if I can tie it properly, uh, like with the proper length of ends. I have my figure of eight knot. I start at the bottom and I follow it through. all the way a re-threaded figure of eight very easy to tie we all know the knot it's very easy to inspect and it's easy to undo and the easy to inspect one is important because a lot of the times this is being rigged while hanging in the ropes and for supervisors to be able to see that the rope is good, it's very nice that it's a figure of eight knot, because if I would put it at the wall back there, you will still be able to recognize this as a properly tied figure of eight knot. So this video was sponsored by Industrial Klimme. Industrial Klimme, the beautiful training center just north of Amsterdam in the Netherlands, as I've told you before, you can see the Roof behind me, we can lift it up and we have like an, a slanted roof to uh, practice for solar panel installation. Besides this, there is all kinds of other training here. We provide IRATA training, GWO training and any training in between with regards to working safely at height. Besides training, there's a beautiful store behind that wall where you can come in and try all the latest climbing equipment. And if you're not able to make it in person, you can always visit the web store, 
If you use my link, which is down in the description, you will get a nice little discount and you will support the channel. I will see you in the next video. Stay connected.